hello guys i'm back with another new tutorial and today i'm gonna show you how you can make this animated timeline slide in just powerpoint in the end of this video there's something more interesting which is not in the intro part so keep watching this tutorial until the end here i have already taken a blank slide so first go to design click on format background and from here i will change the background color then close it Go to home, pick a line shape holding the shift key, drag it over here and it will be a straight line. Now go to format, click on shape outline and change the color to this darker white. Again go to shape outline, increase the weight to one and a half point. Now you need to pick a oval shape and holding control shift make it a smaller one. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color. Again go to shape outline, make no outline. Now place it in the exact middle of this line shape, pick a hollow circle, drag it over here, make it a thinner one, change its color from shape fill, go to shape outline, make no outline. Holding the control shift make it a smaller one and do the same for this oval shape. Now select this hollow circle, make a duplicate of it change this color from shape fill to this darker white then just place it over here and holding the ctrl shift make it a bigger one after that we need to select this straight line make a duplicate of it go to format click on rotate select rotate right 90 degree then bring it to here and place it in the exact middle of this hollow circle now holding the shift key resize its height now select this oval shape holding ctrl shift drag it to here and it will be duplicated now just make it a smaller one then pick a arc shape holding ctrl shift drag it over here move this yellow dot place it in the exact middle of it holding ctrl shift make it a bigger one again we need to drag this to yellow dot so that we have something like this now go to format Click on shape outline and change the color to this darker white. Again go to shape outline, increase the weight to one and a half point. Then right click on it and send it to back. After doing that, we need to pick a text box, drag it over here. Add a year, I'm typing 2008. Select all the text, change the font to century gothic. Make it center, change the font color. Increase the font size to 36 point. Place it over here, holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to down and it will be duplicated. Add some text, increase the text box size and place it in the exact middle. Now select this straight line, press Ctrl D to duplicate, go to format, click on rotate, select rotate right 90 degree. Then bring it to here, holding the Shift key, resize it. Again select this straight line, holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to right and it will be duplicated. Then resize it from this side, right click on it and send it to back. After that we need to select all of these except the straight line. Now holding Ctrl Shift drag all of them to the right and it will be duplicated. Now we need to bring this text box to the down, select the straight line, holding the Shift key, move it to the top and do the same for this small circle. Then select this text box again, place it over here, select this text box, move it to the top and do the same for this straight line. At last select this arc shape and rotate it. And again select this straight line holding ctrl shift drag it to the right, right click on it and send it to back. Now select all of these except the line shape and holding ctrl shift drag them to the right. Again select this straight line, make a duplicate of it, right click on it, send it to back, select these shapes, holding ctrl shift, drag them to the right. Again select this straight line, holding ctrl shift, drag it to the right. Select these text boxes and the shapes Again holding Ctrl Shift, drag them to here. 
now for the last time select this straight line holding ctrl shift drag it to right now we just need to resize it from this side right click on it and send it to back now to have some variation we need to change the color one by one so first select this small circle change this color from shape fill select this first hollow circle change this color to this one select this straight line change this color select this small circle change this color select this straight line change this color select this text go to home and change this color from here like this way we need to change the color one by one so to save your time i'm just skipping this part after changing all the color we'll have something like this now i'm just changing the year from all the text boxes and then select all of them holding the shift key drag them to the down a bit now again pick a text box drag it over here add some text make it center increase the font size go to format click on align select align center then i'm just placing it a bit upward now select this small circle make a copy of it bring it to here press ctrl d to duplicate place it right beside it and press ctrl d three times more i'm just changing the color one by one make sure you change the color so that it matches with the timeline after that select all these small circles press ctrl g to group and place them in the middle of the slide now you need to add the animation first select this straight line go to animation click on animation pane to look over our animation status click on add animation select wipe from effect options select from left keep it on click now select this small circle click on add animation select zoom and set start after previous then select the first hollow circle go to add animation select zoom set start after previous now select the second hollow circle click on add animation select zoom set start after previous now select the straight line go to add animation select wipe from effect option select from top and set start after previous now select the small circle click on add animation select zoom select start after previous now select this arc shape click on add animation select zoom set start after previous now select this text box click on add animation select float in from effect option select float down set start with previous duration 0.5 seconds again select this text box click on add animation select float in set start with previous and duration 0.5 seconds now select the straight line click on add animation select to wipe from effect option select from left and set start after previous now you just need to repeat the whole animation first select this straight line click on add animation select to wipe from effect option select from left set start after previous now select this small circle click on add animation select zoom set start after previous select this first hollow circle click on add animation select zoom set start after previous select this second hollow circle click on add animation select zoom set start after previous select this straight line click on add animation select wipe from effect option select from bottom set start after previous select this small circle click on add animation select zoom set start after previous then select the arc shape click on add animation select zoom and set start after previous now select this text box click on add animation select float in set start with previous and duration 0.5 seconds now select this text box click on add animation select float in and from effect option select float down and set start with previous duration 0.5 seconds now select this straight line click on add animation select wipe from effect option select from left set start after previous now if we start the slideshow you can see that our first two animation is working like this way we need to repeat the same animation process again and again so to save your time i'm skipping the rest of the animation part after that select this straight line click on add animation select 
wipe from effect option select from left and set start after previous now i will show you something extra which is not in our intro part to do that first we have to duplicate the whole slide so press ctrl d to duplicate and in this new slide select this first straight line and set start after previous now go to transition select push then from effect option select from right here we are done now if you start the slideshow you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly and also we have added one extra slide with a simple transition you can see that it looks great when the transition happens you can use this template for your presentation I have given the download link in the video description. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure like and subscribe this channel and don't forget to share with your friends. Hope to see in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.